definitely all the older players. They're getting older. They have you know full time jobs. They have families. They don't have as much time as they used to to dedicate to newer games, putting in you know six hours a day, eight hours a day, that you need to do in order to become a top player. Well, I know Watson's trying to get back to Street Fighter Cross Tekken, um, and Vi is always staying current, and I'm I'm very amazed at how at how Vi is maintained to like manage his, his skill level like throughout the years, which is really impressive for being so talented at a variety of games. Um, but not everyone can do it, not everyone wants to do it, so that's just the way it is. Street Fighter Four, um, so uh, well. Let me give you the newbie standpoint from someone who just got into the um, fighting game community. For us, you know, it was, I really enjoyed it because it looked like it had decent fundamentals and that helped. And, you know, that comeback factor did help a little bit. You know, it's easier to get into, to learn the game in that sense. But, you know, now playing ST, I definitely know where you're coming from now, how SF4 is nothing like ST. They are definitely different games. You have to think of it that way. There are elements but the other elements that are unique to Street Fighter 4 just like kind of dilutes down what makes ST ST. Yeah, they're, they're, you have to think of it like a completely different genre, honestly. <laughs> I honestly like Street Fighter 4. It was a good game, but with like certain characters like Seth and Steve Viper, <laughs> and it's you're not even bookie? like you're getting outplayed, you're just getting outguessed, really. Yeah. And like I know a lot of top players, they don't even like playing Street Fighter 4 anymore, man. They're done with the game. Yeah. Yeah. I won't say who, because I don't know if I'm <laughs> listening, but... Yeah, no, um, SF4 might be a little done now that Street Fighter Cross Tekken, but my question is, what's worse, SFXT or SF4? I don't know. I'm having a little trouble with SFXT. <laughs> Watson's opinions reflect kind of like a lot of what the OGs think. Like, it makes no sense to reward you for being asked the game and getting your ass handed to you. And yeah, you, could, you, can, you can argue that, like, okay, well, it's not so easy to land an Ultra, but... The fact that you ha you, know, you have the ability to land that ultra changes the game completely. It changes how you play, it changes how the other person plays. Like, you're not playing to win anymore, you're playing to defuse the ultra, so to speak. Or, like, like try to not keep yourself in a situation where you can get hit by an ultra. Kosak Honda, you are not alone in this. <laughs> Many old school Street Fighter 2 players feel the same way. <laughs> Just like the things you spent years honing in Street Fighter 2 just don't really apply so well. We're I mean, I'm grateful Street Fighter 4 brought back the community. It yeah, you got me. It brought new players. <laughs> yeah, like, you got in. A lot of players got in. Um, but let's be honest, like, the game just catered more towards casuals than the hardcore. Yeah. The way it is. Well, okay, think about... I, I know I'm not giving an opinion here. It's kind of loose-ended here, but, you know... Y you are catering to casuals to bring them in, but they're ne the then they have to get better, but they're not. Well, no, I think you have to strike a balance. Like, you yeah. can't have a super hardcore game, otherwise no one's going to play it but, like, you and your ten friends. But if you have a game so casual, then you're going to be kind of like a joke of the community. Like, no one's going to take you seriously. Yeah. Like, take, for example, it's, con it's controversial, but let's say, like, Smash Brothers Brawl. <laughs> it's hated for a variety of reasons. I won't get into that, but, like, that game is very, very fun, and people love playing Brawl. But is it for the hardcore? Probably not. A few people do take it to a hardcore level, but overall, it's, it's not like a traditional fighting game. And that's how I feel. So that's the danger of making a game that's too casual, is that you, you neglect the hardcore, you, you, you neglect the uh, turn of scene. Well, I guess then Capcom or any other game company is going to have to find that balance. They just haven't done a very good job yet. Well, supposedly Cap... What the fuck is this? <laughs> I can't read your writing, dude. What? <laughs> can't read that? What? Fuck you, man. Dude, <laughs> I can't, I'm not gonna do that. I'm so broke. <laughs> Did you mean new gen or new gems? Because I hate the fucking gems. Don't get me started on the gems. Don't get me started. <laughs> well, actually, you know what? If they implement a way to make it easier for tournaments to hold, so like pick your gems faster, I'm all I'm all for using gems. I really am. Uh, I just held a tournament last night, and I banned gems for the reason that I, I don't have 10 minutes for players to set up <laughs> gems. I really don't. Yeah. Like, unless they find a better way of doing that. And it took five They're minutes different. just to turn off the gems, too, and go to every character and take away their gems. That was effing annoying. Cross Tekken has some input shortcuts and leniencies. They have some weird, like, 
bug with the inputs for diagonals on the X on the Xbox 360 version. And that's why Bison in Street Fighter 4 can rarely get out his ultras. He'll probably teleport instead. It sucks. <laughs> that's true, Bloodbreaker. I could just lock gems, but then like you know, I, wh why do that? Why not just ban gems altogether? Like, what if you don't want power gems? What if you're a very defensive player, or you want speed, or you want meter management? Like, you can't just give him power just because. Like, I want to find ways to implement gems, but until. You know, the, the tournament DLC, whatever, comes out, then they're banned. Although I'm sure that will change by the time Evo comes around. Because I know, I know, Tom Cannon? One of the Cannon brothers. They really want gems to be at, uh, at Evo this year. For me, Capcom promised a, a hardcore game once Street Fighter Cross Tekken has run its course, but Capcom is the biggest troll of all. So who, knows? <laughs> who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Oh no, the biggest troll of all, Capcom. I don't know. Oh yeah, um, if you guys didn't know, Ono has been ho hospitalized. Um, My wishes are with him. The, re the reasons are unknown. I guess he just like, he got burned out from all the work he's doing, so our thoughts go out to him. Mm -hmm. uh, keep him in your prayers, if you can. Um, so that he does finally make the better game. <laughs> well, ono really does bust his ass to make, to make Capcom games happen. And we wish him the best. Aww. Cross that condo. I liked your comment before. Not this one. <laughs> it's called Stream Monsters, Tanya. We don't. No, 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 no. The ST guys are not monsters. Every other crew are monsters. But these guys are cool. People say whatever they want behind the anonymity of the internet. Okay. <laughs> They're not going to say as a person. And if you are, props to you. <laughs> you got balls. But until then, just, you know, stay on the chat. Well, I'm an optimistic son of a bitch, so I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Hell no. <laughs> you haven't been on the internet long enough to have your faith broken. <laughs> Who am I playing next in the bracket? I would need a bracket to say that. Huh? The hot puck image. <laughs> <coughs> I like how nobody's how we're not commenting on the matches anymore. And this is match point for both of them, so come on, guys. Wow, down to the wire for both of them. You know, I know Blockbuster Juan over there. Like, <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't know. It's, it's, it's oh, I thought he's Blockbuster John. <laughs> no, like I know he doesn't play ST much, but he's a really solid. He's really solid in his fundamentals, so he picks up games very quickly. So despite the fact that I know he doesn't play this matchup very often, he's kind of learning how it's supposed to go. He's just walking into every poke? Yeah, again, he's not. he doesn't play ST much, so he's not He's not used to speed of the game, the walk speed, how deadly um, I also, Bison's pokes are. I also, yeah, I was going to say, like, Bison's got good range on his pokes. So. He can basically throw that out for free against Ryu. Yeah. Uh, Ryu can occasionally stand jab, depending on, on max range, or stand strong, or oh crouch strong. God. No respect. <laughs> hey, good shit, John. <laughs> oh, Juan. <laughs> Blockbuster Juan, where are you going? <laughs> Blockbuster Juan. 